Ensure that the suction line is at least one size bigger than the pump inlet opening. It should be short and as direct as possible, preferably no longer than 6 feet, with no elbows. Use non-collapsible, flexible hose and or expansion joints to absorb vibration and ensure the feed is level, with no high points where vapour can collect. Never supply more than one pump from a single line. If a block valve is used, ensure that its diameter is that of the pipe itself and that it is fully open when the pump is running. Should a pump become partially starved of inlet fluid, as shown here, the pump will continue to run thanks to the Kell cell. This system safeguards the diaphragm in the event of abnormal or fault conditions which would cause it to operate out of hydraulic balance. Starvation can easily be identified by the change in the sound of the pump as it operates under partial vacuum conditions, as indicated here by the vacuum gauge. The diaphragms continue to operate under the control of the Kell cell diaphragm positioning mechanism. However, the output from the pump will be reduced and not be as required by the process. This condition, caused for example by an inlet valve shutting off, inlet filter blockage or continual operation of the pump at zero outlet pressure upsets the balance of the pump and should be remedied as quickly as possible. Prolonged use under such circumstances will inevitably cause damage to the hydraulic end of the pump and its bearings.